Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Taurus. Uh, this is going to be for the second half of your June from the 16th to the 30th. Uh, you could apply this to any replacements, even your nodes. So, um, and this could be in anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, we'll take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know um, for the second half of your month. And then we'll finish off and read what the possible outcome and uh, what else you guys need to know. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what lessons and leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energy in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Taurus, let's get started. Over energies for Taurus. What is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know for the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th? We have the world and the hangman. Seems like you're letting go. Yeah, seems like you're closing out a cycle here, perhaps. Seems like you're surrendering. You're sur surrendering control here. Pisces energy with that hangman. Definitely in this energy of feeling enlightened. Okay, as soon as you let this go, I feel like you're going to feel a huge weight being lifted off your shoulders. You're going to be really happy here, um, uh, Taurus, okay? We have the full, yeah, so Aries energy. Yeah, you're definitely starting all over again. This is looking pretty good. So I feel like it might have taken you a long time to let something go here, but I feel like you're letting go of this go. Perhaps you're letting a ton of stuff go that you were holding on to, uh, Taurus. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. There you go right here in the Strength card, Leo energy. Taurus energy with that King of Pentacles could also be Capricorn and Virgo. Seems like... You know, there is this energy of really gaining the courage to release control here. Maybe some of you guys might have had control issues or something like that, okay? Um, but I, I just feel like you're really sort of like in this energy of happiness and sort of like this energy of empowerment, sort of feeling like you can do whatever you want in a way, as long as you're not hurting people, okay? Tell me about the world here. Seems like your money is great. Your career is great. A lot of you guys own your own businesses. Okay, we have the moon here. There's a fear. There was a fear of letting go and moving on, but I feel like you're facing that fear. Okay, Cancer Pisces, the hangman here, and the two of cups. There was a relationship. Okay, so if I, what I'm getting here is that, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be any relationship. It could be with a friend. It could be with a family member. And I feel like you were holding on to relationships that were not serving you. And I feel like in the end, you realized it was hurting you. So I feel like, you know, it, it, it took you courage to let these people go. Even though you were fearful of doing it, you did it anyway. Okay? So this is progress here. This is healing for you. Yeah? So... Yeah, I, I just feel like you you let go of a ton of relationships here. Uh, Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you didn't want to be, you know, I feel like you just didn't want to be in your head anymore. And I feel like it was creating more problems than, than actually, you know, you resolving them. Okay, so I feel like it, the resolve was, was to let things go here. Okay, so the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Cups here. The Fool. I'm going to Ten of Swords, yeah. You're closing out a cycle here. I feel like you're closing out uh, on a lot of relationships here, uh, Taurus, okay? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? We have Justice, Libra Energy, Strength, and the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. You're closing out some karmic cycles here. You're closing out a, a karmic cycle here. You're clearing out karma. Maybe you took on karma that wasn't yours by surrounding yourself with these individuals. But yeah, with that justice card, that sword and that justice card, you're using that sword to cut this out. You're learning your lessons here. You're learning some big lessons that perhaps you're realizing that not everyone is meant to be in your life. 
And some people come in for a season and then they go. And I feel like that's something that you're learning. That's something that you're learning to accept. Outcome and advice here for Taurus regarding those situations. What else does Taurus need to know for the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th? Alright, we have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the Five of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands and the Emperor here, Aries Energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Lovers. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the Hierophant and the Five of Pentacles. So, could be dealing with another Taurus here. Seems like a lot of you guys are speaking to someone about the loss. Yeah. Feeling bad for abandoning people. Maybe you have abandonment issues yourself that you have to work through here. The Emperor and the Three of Wands. Someone here might have had an absent father in their life. Okay? And I feel like maybe all this stems from that. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. Seems like there's a soulmate that's in and around you that's coming towards you. Seems like, you know, the universe is rewarding you with something new, with new things for releasing the stuff here. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, Emperor, Aries Energy, Taurus Energy with the Hierophant. Tell me about the, the Hierophant here. We got a Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and a Six of Cups. Wow. Seems like you're learning. I, I feel like you guys are healing your inner child here. Yeah, I feel like you guys are actually looking at the past and reassessing and taking stock, taking inventory here. So like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys are learning learning your lessons here. Yeah, or, you know, learning to cope um, or transcend or heal some childhood trauma that you went through here with a parent. Yeah, it seems like there was an absent parent here, like I said, three of wands. I feel like this is someone that you, you're you yearning for. You're yearning a relationship with this individual. You're looking to sit down to have the meeting in lines and talk to this individual. I feel like this person has been out of your life for a very long time. The Emperor with the Six of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, I feel like this is a father figure here and I feel like this person has a lot to say to you. Yeah, but I feel like this person's scared to come forward because so much time has passed. Queen of Pentacles. With the Five of Cups. The Lovers. And the Two of Swords. Okay. There's someone from your past that's trying to come back here too. I, I feel like this is someone that you're, you separated from. So this person regrets pushing you away or blocking you or something like that. Okay. You're, you're going to end up blocking this individual. So sort of like, you know, sort of like the shoes on the other foot with this uh, individual here that you've been dealing with. But yeah, it seems like, you know, it seems like doors are opening up for you as soon as you're releasing this person here or these people, okay? So uh, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.